Hey guys, Bimmy here, and I'm going to be going over today how to make graffitis and how to use the workshop tools for Counter-Strike 2. I'm not going to be going super in-depth into Photoshop, so if you need help with Photoshop, you're going to have to go somewhere else. I'm just going to kind of gloss over everything. So, once you've created your own image, created, uh, you know, whatever, this is the image that I'm working with currently, you need to make sure that... You save it as a target file, that's what you're going to want to do, but before you do that, you're going to want to go over to the channels tab, and you're going to want to uh, create an alpha channel. So, you you know, create new, I already have two here, and uh, what, what this is, right, is the game is going to be reading this alpha channel, and that is going to tell the game what's to color and what's to not color what what's to degrade and what to not degrade right so like what is going to be painted and what's not going to show up right so everything is in black is not going to show up in game and everything in white is going to show up in game right so if we go back to this right everything in white will show up in game so that's what you're going to be looking for you can also put grayscale values in if you want uh and those will give it like a sort of opacity but for the most part, I would just stick with white, or white and black. That will just make things super simple in the long run, right? So once again, back to saving. You're going to go to File, you know, Save As, and you do you, you need to save it as a, as a Targo file, right, as a, TD, as a TGA. So, oh, quick thing before I get back into the workshop tools. If you want paint drips... You're going to need to do those by hand, I'm pretty sure. So if you want to have a paint drip effect, that needs to be done by hand, and there needs to be two different versions. There needs to be a version without paint drips. So we notice here there are no paint drips here. Uh, but there also will need to be the regular version, and then the no paint drips version. We'll go more into that later. But yes, make sure that there are two different versions. And if you have one like this with no paint drips, you're just going to want to duplicate it. And once again, we'll go over that here in a second. Yeah, so I've already published a sticker. This one has got weird opacity right now, but this is what we're going to be working with. So what you're going to want to do is, uh, this is what you're going to be looking at. You need to find the folder that CS2 is looking for items, right? Uh, don't click this folder icon. Uh, you're going to want to open up the local browser. That is going to be the one you're going to want to look for. This is going to make it a lot easier for you to find what you're looking for. All right, so the way that Counter-Strike 2 handles folders is a little weird. Uh, I've been having kind of an issue with it, but uh, the, the quickest way that I can tell you to get it in there is uh, you're going to start off with uh, this one right here. Uh, this will just let you server, like, uh, folder browse, right? So the game is looking through folders, and if you want to find that folder quickly, what I would do is just find uh, one of these guys generally... Um, and, you know, you, what you would do is you'd right-click, open folder, and that will take you to the folder in-game. Um, you may need to mess around and look through some of these folders to find the correct one, uh, because once you put the file in there, the TGA file, it should pop up in here. If it doesn't pop up in here, you're gonna, you've, uh, you've messed up, right? Uh, so, my folder, unfortunately, is a sticker folder, because that was the first thing that I was messing with. So, uh, I have it locked on there, and I haven't figured out how to change it yet. But, yeah, so, like, the first, first folder you're looking at may be the um, spray folder, but uh, just keep messing with it. One, you, you'll, you'll find it. Once you put it in the right spot, it'll pop up here. And uh, the easiest thing to do is, uh, you know, once again, you know, the server browser. Once you find it, find your sticker. Make sure that you have both files. You're going to want the no drip file and the base file. Um, both need to be saved the same way. So this one is named explosion one, right? And then I have a no drip file, which once again is just a duplicate file. Uh, since neither of these have drips, uh, the no drips file is just going to be the same exact name with underscore no drips as we can see here, right? So you're going to first off click the default TGA file, except the game will automatically detect a no drip file or it will look for a no drip file if there is not a file if it cannot find one it will crash so um that was a lot of issues that uh, i noticed that some people were having was the the crashing because they couldn't figure out how to get that file so yes just duplicate the file no drips 
Um, unless you created drips, unless you created two different versions, right? And then, you know, you just make sure they're named and it should pop up correctly. So after these are here, after you have the folders and the TGA files set up into the game and the game is actually reading them, you're going to just want to go ahead and click inspect. Boom. And this is what we've got, right? And Valve made this really nice to, nice and easy to create screenshots and all that other good stuff. There's a nice little screenshot button here, so you can click that. And what it'll do, yeah, like like that, it'll open up. There is a special folder that they have now where you just have screenshots. So, if you want to take screenshots and you want to change locations, right, you can click close. Bottom right, change the scenery. Um, my personal favorite is office. So, each time you do that, you know, once again, back to this, inspect, boom, and then you would take more pictures, and then finally you would publish it. So it would load all of your previous files, all that good stuff, uh, create new, top left, name, description, uh, and then submit. The game, once again, automatically adjusts everything to a certain size, so don't really worry about that. I would just make sure that you try and put everything in a square. Square is the best thing that I've noticed. Uh, so, like, once again, like, 1,000 by 1,000 or 2,000 by 2,000, right? But, yeah, if you need to add more pictures, once you get to the Steam work Workshop page, you can do that. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory, but, yes, uh... This is, that's basically it. Fairly simple. Stick, stickers are very, fairly simple. Uh, sorry, not stickers, sprays. Sprays are fairly simple. Uh, and they're a lot easier to deal with uh, compared to stickers in the paint kit. So if, if this is, this is a really good starter thing if you are trying to introduce yourself to working on the items, right? So uh, very, very simple. If this helps you out, uh, consider supporting me on steam i do have some you know stuff on the workshop i should be putting this up soon and i do have another one that i already have up so uh like i said consider leaving me a like and uh, i will try and stay active in the comments if you have any questions concerns i'll see what i can do to help you so thank you guys for watching and i'll see y'all with another video very soon